Hey, this is Nick with Android Fan Network, and today I'm going to be reviewing the OtterBox Commuter for the HTC One VX. Now, the One VX is HTC's new mid-range device on AT&T's network. All right, so first let's do a quick unboxing. So on the back we have the specs of the case, and that's about it. Uh, let me see how we actually actually open this thing. Similar to the OtterBox Defender box, I guess. Yeah. All right, slide this in. Right, so a similar presentation to the Defender series case I just reviewed. We have the manual. So some advertising basically for OtterBox. And it's in two different languages on this side. And instructions on how to install the case on your phone. Oops. All right, with that to the side, let's take a look at the case. It's a two-piece steel, soft rubber, and a, hard in, and a hard outside. This might come with a screen protector, let's see. Yep, it comes with a decent screen protector. All right, we'll set that aside real quick for the moment. So just a little cardboard insert that holds the screen protector. Now I'm not going to install the screen protector now, this is just a dummy phone, but simple, the best way to install these screen protectors is carefully wipe down the screen, you could even get the cloth, you could even wipe it down with a damp cloth first and then dry it off and wash it off and then dry it off with this uh, lint-free cloth inside of there. I always like taking the brand new phone and they usually come with a protective film on it already from the factory. So as soon as you peel that off, quickly put this one on and you won't have any dust under it or any problems at all. So that's just how I apply my screen protectors, but I won't be applying this one on camera today. So let's put that to the side and take a look at the case. All right, first let's put it on the phone. All right, so nothing tricky. Just a plastic inside layer that slips on really easily. All right, and let's pop it onto the hard shell. Maybe I should go the other way. Put the button in first, yeah. That looks like the way it's supposed to be done. Push that in there. Just a quick pair of pliers. I'm not worried about scratching this. This is a just a display phone, a display 1VX, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm getting scratched up. Alright, that looks pretty good. It looks like it's all inserted. Let's start with the front there. So yeah, the front is totally open and there isn't a built-in screen protector, so you should definitely put this one on. You'll definitely get scratches, regardless of whether your phone is Gorilla Glass or not, it will get scratches on it. Gorilla Glass is a little better than the average glass, but or the old glass they used to use. Pretty much every phone has Gorilla Glass nowadays, but it will still get scratches, even if it is made out of Gorilla Glass. So definitely put that screen protector on there. All right, so looking at the lip that it provides, it provides a decent lip, not as big as the OtterBox Defender lip, the lip on that case, but it's still a decent lip that will protect it if you drop it on its face. So a good lip there. On the back we have a good cutout for the camera and the flash. And at the bottom there's a good cutout for the speaker grill. On this side we have a volume rocker. This volume rocker is a little protruding, it's a little bigger. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it just it's a little it sticks out a little farther than most of the other cases I've looked at so far. Alright, so good case. Just finish fitting that in there. All right, so the, the buttons still feel good. You lose a little feeling just because of how thick the case is, but still a good feeling, a good trade-off for the protection you're getting. On the top here, we have a cover for the headphone jack, and a cutout for the secondary mic, and the power button, which feels similar to the volume rocker. Still pretty clicky, but it offers, it has good protection over it. All right, nothing on this side. So we have the flap over the micro, oops this way. Flap over the micro USB port and the primary mic. Alright, so all in all it's a decent case. Now if you compare it to the OtterBox Defender, you know it's a little slimmer. Here, let me pull out my OtterBox if you give me a moment. I will pull out my OtterBox and we can just compare it directly. I actually packaged it all back up, so you just give me a minute I'll pull out my OtterBox Defender and we can compare it. So the OtterBox Defender, the first difference I see is the OtterBox Defender here comes with a belt clip. 
So if you need that belt clip, definitely go for the Defender. The commuter will not work with the belt clip. It's just too small. Okay. All right, so the main difference is, is, uh, difference is it's a, it has a screen protector, built-in screen protector, but that's not a big deal when, you, when the commuter comes with a screen protector. So when you look at these side by side, it's a, this one, the Defender, is a little thicker and it actually offers better corner protection. Now this has thick plastic over all four corners, thick rubber over all four corners, while this one has a hard shell. The, under this rubber outside, there's a hard shell in there. So it has a little better protection on the corners. So if you drop it a lot on hard surfaces, this one might be a little better. Now, this one still offers great protection, just not as much as this one. It's just the step, this, the, computer, the commuter case is just a step down from the Defender. So it offers good protection, but not the best protection. The Defender would obviously be the best protection, but the commuter offers good protection. It's a little thinner, doesn't offer as much protection, but it's a little easier to pocket. Now, if I was going to choose a case for my phone, my One VX, it would definitely be the spec candy shell because it's just a little slimmer, a little more stylish, and it has a full hard shell all, around, all the way around. But this video is really about the commuter case. So if you like Otterboxes, you like how they're built, how sturdy they are, this is definitely the mid-range. We'll take a look at the step-down case if Otterbox decides to release one. But this is usually the mid-range. The commuter is really the mid-range case for the One VX. Let me see if the box has the price on it. You should, it should run you $20 or $25 versus the Otterbox Defender costing you around $35, just over $35. So you'll save a few bucks, get a little slimmer profile, and it's definitely a good case. It's definitely a good value. It offers great protection. You can't go wrong with either of the Otterbox cases. This is Nick with Android Fan Network. Don't forget to check out our site, androidfannetwork.com, our Twitter, at Team AFN, and our social media sites, Google+, and Facebook, and those pages are called Android Fan Network. Like and subscribe to our channel so you can get more of the latest Android accessory video reviews.